Hey guys, Beauty Vixen here. Today I'm doing a DIY. It's not beauty related, it's something a little bit different. It's a pair of shoes. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to get this look for less. Thanks for staying with me. So my birthday passed and I wanted to go out in true fashion. I was going to be the big 2-5. How embarrassing. I'm so old. But I wanted to actually step out in an outfit, a dress, a pair of shoes, something that nobody else had before. So I hit the internet and I came up with these Christian Louboutin for Rodar shoes that are rumored to be anywhere from $2,000 to $25,000 a pair. And I'm telling you, the more you research the shoes, the more they start to disappear. Like there are an urban legend that these shoes even exist. I've seen a couple pictures. The only people that I've actually seen them on are Victoria Beckham and Janet Jackson. There are a couple different additions to these shoes, but the main one are the Rodart Spike shoes. Um, and these are the ones that I actually created. And again, here are the original shoes. And here are mine. Not bad. And I'm going to show you exactly how to replicate them and DIY the shoes so you can be out. I get so many compliments on the shoes. And believe me, you can get into the club because that was the last thing that I, I, I worried about. I got the shoes all done and I'm like, what if they don't let me into the club with these shoes on? Oh my God, what am I going to do? So I did get in. I got it on my birthday. They, they did the whole wand and patted me down. Didn't even look twice at my shoes. So um, don't worry. But I'm going to show you exactly how to get the look for less than $25,000. Less than $100,000. Okay? So this is what you'll need. Let's get started. This is what we'll need. 56 inches of half inch wide leather strapping. 44 inches of 3 eighths inch wide leather strapping. In all, four half inch wide rectangular buckles, four three eighths inch wide rectangular buckles, Loctite fabric glue, small binder clips, your shoes, needle and thread, two half inch long silver cone spikes, screwdrivers, a roll of moleskin, three bags of one fourth inch square pyramid studs, three bags of one fourth inch round dome studs, one bag of one inch cone spikes, needle nose pliers, a hammer, and two small bottles of 3D fabric paint. Make sure that before any of the supplies are bought that you purchase your leather or pleather shoe strapping and your buckles. These items are the hardest to find. And if you don't find everything on the list, don't worry. Use what you have to create your one-of-a-kind shoes. My multi-strap Mary Janes are by Bordello, available at SinisterSouls.com. And all my spikes and studs are available at spikesandstuds.com. Part 1, Strap Construction. To complete Part 1, this is what you'll need. Using the strapping that you purchase, you'll create 4 straps for each shoe. Set aside 12 inches of half inch strapping. You'll need this later. If you divide your remaining strapping 4 ways with each length, that leaves eight 11 inch straps. Leave them long for now. You can trim them later. Next, I use thread, needle, and elastic to apply my buckles. Make sure you apply the buckles backwards for the opposite shoe. Remember that half inch strapping I told you to save? Well, now you need it. Cut it in half. Use six inches to create the backbone of the ankle straps for each shoe. Tack the straps in this order, half inch, three eighths inch, three eighths inch, and half inch. I glued them to the backbone, secured them with binder clips, and then tacked down the corners with thread. Leave the bottom long. This is how you'll need to attach the ankle strap to your shoe. 
Part 2, adding spikes and studs to the straps and attaching ankle straps to the shoe. To complete Part 2, this is what you'll need. Now you can begin studding your ankle straps. Use your awl to poke two holes into your strap. Insert the prongs of the stud and use your needle nose pliers to fold over and secure the stud into the strap. The square studs go on the half inch strap and the round studs go onto the 3 eighths inch strap. To insert the half inch spikes, use your awl to poke a hole and use screwdrivers to widen the hole so that you can screw in the spike. Now attach your ankle strap to your shoe. Use your awl to poke a hole through the shoe and the backbone and screw your spike in. Using your awl and screwdriver, apply your one inch spikes to the middle strap of your shoe. Now stud the remaining two straps using the small round studs. Part 3 Finishing Touches To complete part 3, this is what you'll need. Now create your textured platform by using a ruler and your awl to draw a line into your shoe about a centimeter away from the sole. The second line should be about an inch from your first one. Fill in the space all the way around your shoe with random dots of fabric paint. This will create your textured platform. Sit your shoes upright in a safe place and let them dry for 24 hours. Before you start studying, ensure that the paint is dry. Now hammer the small round studs into the platform of your shoe. See, it's not that hard to make your own pair of Christian Louboutins. <laughs> I don't know why they cost so much. I can do it myself. <laughs> so I can't stress enough not to buy your shoes or any of the other products before you get the strappings and the buckles because those are going to be the hardest things to come across. If you live here in sunny Southern California, then you can message me or hit me on Twitter and I'll let you know exactly which um, person I used to get my strapping and my buckles from. He's here local. Um, he doesn't have like a website or anything. I will just give that information to you, but he doesn't have all that. Um, let's see what else. <laughs> That's it, I guess. If you have any questions or you need any help, um, go ahead and message me on Twitter or hit me on this message, on this um, video, actually. You can comment. Make sure you subscribe while you're doing so. Subscribing is good. <laughs> um, other than that, make sure, don't get discouraged if you can't get everything. The shoes don't have to be identical to Victoria Beckham's, the exact shoe that's Christian Louboutin made or even the ones that Janet Jackson did. Have fun with it. You know, make your own. Just, it's a DIY project. They don't have to be identical. Make, so you'll have the only pair. Like, I have the only pair of mine. Um, the girl that I got my information from, I, I did a couple extras on my shoes to make them special, so... And I just wanted to share with you because I just get so many compliments while I'm out. And I, I'm so tired of saying, I made them. And everybody looks at me like, what? You made a pair of shoes? And I'm like, yeah, it's my birthday. I made a pair of shoes, okay? Yeah, I did. So I don't know what I'm going to do next year. I'm going to start making shoes now. <laughs> All right, guys. It's about that time. It's time to let you go. Thanks for watching. See you next time.